Hey, how are you? I'm Stevie and I'm Ireland's record paper airplane thrower. Uh, great achievement. Um, I've been throwing paper airplanes since I'd say five, six years of age. Me and my friend Shane, when we were young, we, uh, you know, other kids were outside playing hurling and soccer and running and we stayed inside making paper airplanes. Sydney, how come your planes are so good? It's all about technique, Shane. It's all about technique. Watch me and you'll learn. It's not fair. Boss goes on now. Shh. Yay! Yay! Uh, this is mad, Stevie, with the cameras and stuff. This is like the olden days. Um, yeah, me, me and Stevie were big enthusiasts and uh, back in the day when we were younger. Um, I was six, he was ten, and we were just the best of friends back then. And I, he was like a father figure to me, even though, even though I had a father. He was like my other father, because he was showing me things that I, I didn't even know was possible. Like, he, he explained it to me one day, did you know that you can make a plane from paper and that just blew my mind it just absolutely blew my mind we were the least two tanned kids on the street at the time i'll never forget it because uh all the other kids were out for the summer but we were inside getting our paper airplane game on fleek I live at home with mum and dad and uh, they're very understanding, you know, it's not every parent can say they have a an athlete or a champion living with them. Actually, I was talking to your dad in the bank this morning. My dad? Yeah. Cheek him. Cheek him. What did he want? When are you going to grow up? When are you going to move out? I'm not saying it's me, but you. God, man, you may sort him out. I'm only 37. I What's know, his that's problem? what I said like, to him. You know what I mean? He knows if I didn't have the national championships coming up. In Panama? Yeah. I suppose he was on about how am I going to pay for that, was he? Yeah, well, he doesn't know what the sponsor. I've, I've been emailing people about it. I'm going to get sponsors on the side of the plane, you know. It's going to pay for everything. It's just he doesn't understand Reebok. that. Oh. Yeah. But you could have moved in with me if I didn't have the mortgage and the, the missus and the kids. And the work. And the bloody hamster. Yeah. Things could be different, man. It would be different. You could be Stupid. living like me if you didn't do all that stuff. Like, I hate you know them I mean? all. Could be making paper planes. All day. Passion. And then it won't turn out like this. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Look, I know. Look, needs a bit of work. I hold the record for paper airplane thrown in Ireland, thirty-three point four meters, and that's indoors, obviously, because outdoors you have a lot of variables with wind and stuff. But uh, it's all about tra trajection, you know. And uh, my folding technique is amongst the best in the world. I've been told that uh, if I lived in, we'll say, somewhere like Canada that has bigger halls than what we have here, that I could beat 30 meters. So obviously Stevie got more into it and uh, I kind of I kind of had to come back because I had to join the family business. I went off to college and stuff, but like, wait, like I work now because I have a mortgage and I have kids and all that, but like every lunchtime, me and Stevie, we come down, we get the band back together and we train. And like Stevie would be training for hours because obviously you know, he doesn't have a job. Well, this is his job. He's a pro paper airplane guy. It's 25 meters. What's the record? 69 meters. That's still good, Steve. How does he do it? It's about the folding technique. You know, I've got the crispest lines in the country. Stevie always had like the best technique on how to fold them. He'd use saliva, but he'd never tell me. He'd, ne he'd never tell me like how he'd use it. What you could kind of see. Like, I'd be trying to rub techniques off him, you know, and you could kind of see the, like, the wetness on the paper when, where he folded it. And then he'd throw it, and it, it would, it would, honest, it would, it would go for, like, meters. It was so long.
nobody's going to beat my technique, number one. And number two, my design. My design is just ergonomically perfect for the paper airplane throwing industry. Sometimes I have to go get the ones that go astray. It's very rare that they do, but... Yeah, it's on its way, Stevie! He's a pro, he needs things done like that. I'm hoping to represent Ireland in the paper airplane throwing championships. So Stevie lives at home with his parents and you know which gives him time to focus on the paper airplanes, you know what I mean? And like who needs money? Who needs money? You know the government will give him money and he's he's subsidized and sponsored by the government. And to be honest, who needs money to, for holidays when he can just get on one of his paper planes? And Stevie! Stevie, I have to go back to work. I love the technique. I'll see you later, lads. I'll be here this day tomorrow, all right? So I'm just looking for a bit of support from the Irish public and um, if there's anybody out there. I've wrote to the Minister for Tourism and Sports and um, still haven't got a response. Probably just delayed. But uh, going forward, I'd like to be recognised as Ireland's premier pepper airplane drawer. So if there is some sort of an award or an achievement or sponsorship you know i would welcome that sponsorship at the moment because it's tough living at home with mum and dad you know it's tough nearly 40 but you're a champion you know but you can't afford a mortgage or anything because what you're passionate about you know doesn't bring in income so from me to you 